Marais. I'm from Brisbane, Australia, and I'm here in the beautiful British Columbia. I'm going to show you a different side to Vancouver, side that's a little more edgy, a little more fun, and definitely for those of you who like to pack back a little more cheap. So you'll notice if you come to Vancouver in the downtown east side, there's like a lot of homeless people or beggars in it scares a lot of people off, but you'll find that as long as you're smart about things, most of them are generally just nice and it's a good time and there's a lot of things to see, so don't let it deter you. I told you, everything's for sale except my ass. It's and pork. <laughs> Did you make it? No, no, no. I'm a, a fire of uh, us. Awesome. So how much for this? Two dollars? Like three dollars. Yes. Nothing for free <laughs> except my vocabulary. And today we're watching the cutting edges play some amateur hockey. As you can see, the stands are not filled. Tickets are free, so nowhere near as expensive as going to a Canucks game. And you get to see what Canada is all about, which is hockey. And you can see the passion, because these guys are here on a weekend, with nobody watching them play. Go cutting edges! Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> so, if shopping is your thing and you're in Vancouver, it has a lot of great shopping, I'm not going to lie. But if you want to do it on the backpacker budget in the real Canadian way, Canadian, they have department stores like Value Village, which are totally filled with awesome pieces of clothing at really great prices. So I'm here in the historical Chinatown. I don't know what half of the stuff is, but I love coming here and checking it out now. Bacon, bourbon, milkshake. We're in Gastown, it's the home of the Amsterdam Cafe, which is actually the headquarters for the BC Marijuana Party. Um, as the name suggests, you can go in there and enjoy some green delights. Well, I think like, you should probably actually go in there and check it out a bit. I'm halfway around a half an hour revolve, and we're here with English Bay in our sights, and we're actually getting to see some beautiful sunset action happening. Eating out is a huge part of Vancouver culture. There's so many amazing restaurants and they taste so much tasty food, like it's out of control. But one of the must-do things if you have very little time is get a always neat sushi. I would say some of the best sushi you can get outside of Japan. Enjoy. Alright, you guys have a good one. Thank you so much. <laughs>